Hi everyone, welcome to our channel, TechWise Rahul. So basically today we are going to discuss that how we can do some hands-on on Kubernetes Playground. So this request I have got from some of our my colleague and some junior fellows who are trying to work on a DevOps engineer who are working as a DevOps engineer but they don't have much more exposure on Kubernetes. So as of now, we have multiple options to do the same operation but they are working on some client's laptop so they cannot do the setups on the vms and do some hands-on so they are just looking for some online platform to perform these operations and do some playgrounds over in kubernetes so we are gonna see that what are the options we have available to perform this operation and uh, which one is the best one so as per my experience which i have shared some of our colleagues as well that is killer coda platform so this is the one where you can get 60 minutes for to do some hands-on and some playground so there are multiple operations just like as if you are preparing for cka cks and ckr and you want some uh, environment to have some practice some scenario based question so this is the right platform for you so as you can see here this we gonna choose this platform killer coda and as I am already logged in, that's why I should show you how we can do the login as well. I'm just trying to do the logout. So for logging in, we have these are options GitHub, GitLab, Google, and email. So I'm gonna do the login with the help of my Google or Gmail account. So I just logged in with my Gmail. As you can see, after authentication, we can see the same screen. So we just need to go on this playground options. And on after clicking on the playground options, we can see these are the options we have it available. So as I can said, if you are preparing for CKA, CCAD, CKS, and uh, for this certification, if you want to have some practice on the scenario based question, you can uh, opt it out for practice and uh, have some playground to practice those scenarios for real practice exam. So I just choose for uh, Kubernetes 1.30 for have a playground so let's see that our cluster is ready as you can see here the time limit is for 60 minutes so this environment would available only for 60 minutes after 60 minutes you can again extend it for another 60 minutes so as you can see here it can extend up to four hours with the plus membership but no need to worry about that you can log out and log in again again you will get 60 minutes there is no restriction on that so what we have to do that so let's see our current setup so kubectl get nodes we can see here this is the two node cluster so one is working as a control plan another is one other another one is working as a worker node so as we can see here both are in ready state so we are good to install and create some pods and see that this environment is working fine or not so kubectl run and the name of pod we are going to give as test pod and the image we are going to pass this as nginx and uh, let's see this pod would be run for thousand so as we can see here a pod is get created kubectl get pods so it's in creating let's watch okay now pod is created kubectl get pods okay if you wanted to create the deployment you can do the, that as well k create deploy kubectl create deploy and name of the deployment that is test deploy and the image would be just like as for now uh, nginx let it be nginx only and as you know that in deployment we have to pass the replica let it be a replica as one so as we can see here our deployment is also get created so we are good on this part if you wanted to create any service so let's do that we can do the same exposing the pod which is running as an nginx container so k okay, expose name of the pod that is test pod and on which port we need to expose as we know that nginx pod need to be exposed on port 80 so let's do that okay so we need to pass it as pod name as well what's the resource okay service test pod is being exposed kubectl get service so as we can see here this is this is the name of service which is being created as a cluster ip because we didn't pass any parameter just like as it's a node port we didn't define any service if we didn't define any service in the our kubectl imperative command it will by default take as a cluster ip so as we can see here 
this is the service is being created so this is a very helpful playground you can practice a lot and as you can see here there are more kubernetes playground is available like as one node 4 gb so there would be some empty environment as well where you want to practice some cks ck ckat on all areas you can do the same just like it as we have seen that we have so many questions available over the internet and we need an environment to practice for any certification it would be either ck cks ckat or uh, just like us to do some replicate for some questions so we need an environment and we don't want to spend our time on um, just like us to set up of the Kubernetes cluster so these are the environments uh, playgrounds are very helpful so thank you for watching stay tuned with TechWise Rahul see you in next video thank you for watching please like share and subscribe